This week we're reporting from the 2009 Cattle Industry Annual Convention and NCBA Trade Show. And here in Phoenix, NCBA elected its new president. He's a cattleman and engineer from Michigan. This summer, our Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter had a chance to spend a day in the life of Gary Vogt. The shores of Lake Michigan may not be where you'd expect to find the new NCBA president Gary Vogt and his wife Shirley, but this great lake is just 19 miles from where Gary and Shirley started Vogt Farms. Well, we came here 41 years ago. We were not uh, farmers and uh, the farm wasn't passed down to us. Uh, we started from scratch and uh, uh, it turned out to be a second job, not a hobby job, a second job. And uh, we raised all five of our kids here and started out with uh, three calves and rented our pastures to a neighbor and finally uh, uh, bought three registered Hereford heifers for our son when he was one years old and uh, got into pure business that way and uh, uh, showed polled Herefords for years and then finally got into Angus and been in Angus maybe 20 years now. Gary built a career as a civil engineer while at the same time growing the family farm and cattle business. Today, Vote Farms includes 320 acres of hay and pasture land, a registered purebred Angus herd, a longhorn or two, and a menagerie of other animals. Sometimes when you see it, it's hard to remember exactly what we're doing here, but we're raising registered Angus bulls for sale. That's, that's the business we're in, and everything else is kind of a supplemental to that. Um, we do sell steers, uh, we fatten steers for a retail market and then uh, the rest of the stuff is just for, uh, uh, that's because what, that's what belongs on a homestead. You got to have chickens for fresh eggs and you got to plant a garden and we've got a herd of uh, meat goats now uh, just to try to uh, develop a market. So whatever seems to work and add interest, uh, uh, we try that on this place. There's something of interest in every corner of the Vogt family farm. Gary and his son built this log cabin together, and Gary enjoys inventing things. Check out this portable water, mineral, and fly control system combined on one skid, and a way to easily keep his cattle in hay all winter long. You looked at our hay storage system where we uh, move the hay one time, and let the cattle come to the hay in the winter time. We don't feed cattle every day. Cattle have to feed themselves. Uh, that started out uh, when we realized who was working for who. The cows are working for us. We're not working for the cows. With son Zach and his family living on the farm and four other children in the family, Gary and Shirley have plenty of willing help at chore time. That'll be important this year because as NCBA president, Gary expects to spend more than 200 days on the road meeting with his fellow cattlemen. It's just important. It comes with the territory. We all knew it going in, and uh, we've got to be uh, with the people. We've got to listen to them. We've got to learn what their issues are, and, uh, and we're not office-type presidents. We're on-the-ground type people and uh, just regular uh, cattle folk like they are, and uh, the best way to find out how to do the job is go out and listen to them. And, uh, see what issues face them. We're very excited for him. This is something that I think he will be very good at. Uh, he's very dedicated to NCBA and it will mean more responsibilities for the kids and I, but they're a great help and I think we can handle it without any problem. My dad really has a passion for the beef industry uh, that he has developed um, over the years. You know, he had a long career in civil engineering and and somewhere along his hobby became a real passion for him and uh, he wants to continue that passion with the beef industry. That passion for the beef industry is evident whether Gary's grilling burgers for a family feast where's the buns or gathering calves just after sunrise. We always look forward to the first calf. We look forward to uh, seeing if our breeding decisions are right. Uh, then we look forward to the first day turned out in grass. A past president of the Michigan Cattlemen's Association, Gary has been an NCBA member for 35 years and now takes the reins of leadership as president representing cattlemen all across the country. I want to celebrate the strength of our diversity. We have a wonderful diversity in the membership. 
um, and we need all kinds. And so a cattle feeder from Kansas can learn from a dairy farmer in Vermont. Um, us Easterners can, can take a lesson from what's happening in the West on public lands. And um, all that strength of all that diversity is something that we want to celebrate. It is an honor to be from Michigan, to be the first president from Michigan, and uh, and probably one of the few uh, presidents from uh, east of the Mississippi River. I think it just recognizes the diversity in the business. Uh, it takes all kinds of uh, people to be NCBA president, uh, and so uh, people shouldn't be afraid that uh, there's this farmer from Michigan that's leading NCBA. Uh, this farmer is going to do all right. Joining me here at the NCBA trade show is newly elected NCBA president, Gary Vogt. Gary, thanks for joining us today. It's exciting to be here. Hey, maybe you can tell us just a little bit about some of the benefits you see of producers coming to a meeting like this. Well, for most of the country, they got out of the ice and snow, so uh, they're just happy. Uh, I can see it on their faces. But uh, the fellowship should not be uh, discounted. It's a very important part uh, of coming together and, and talking to your fellow cattlemen and see that some of the problems you think you have at home are universal, but uh, more importantly, uh, strong resolve to get on to getting on with it and getting things uh, squared away. It's been a great convention, and tell me this, as president, I'm certain you have some priorities and some issues you want to tackle this year. Do you mind previewing a couple of those? Well, first let me tell you that uh, I've learned we're 110 years old. We're going to stay steady on the course. We must be doing something right where the uh, oldest, largest, most respected cattlemen's outfit in the country. So we're going to maintain that without uh, making a lot of whole changes in how we do our business. Certainly they've been talking about a lot of uncertainty here at convention. What are some of the biggest challenges our industry has to face in the coming year? Well, the major one is the economy, but we've learned at convention we're not in charge of fixing that. And so we're not going to dwell on the economy. We're going to be ready when it gets straightened away and keep everything in order. The second is uh, world trade. That's the most important thing we can work on this year to get more access and uh, expanded trade. It's going to get up to $200 worth of value for every carcass. And the third is uh, we have to counter this animal activism with our story that we're in the food production business. And if we get food production as the focus, I think we're going to get through this uh, crisis as well. Well, Gary, we thank you for what you've already done for the association and look forward to a great year ahead. Thanks for joining us. Gary Vogt, the new NCBA president. You can join the National Cattlemen's Beef Association today. To do so, call 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit beefusa.org.